This deck is so easy. Sue? So. <laughs> so at the start of lockdown, uh, I decided to just try and teach my girlfriend how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I decided to teach her trap tricks because it's quite simple. It's really sort of beginner friendly. Um, so yeah, we'll just go straight into them. Trap tricks monsters. So free Mamelio. This is like the best one to open with just because it instantly gets you a trap. Uh, Mantis is the next best to open with because this can search for Dianana, which is your turn two play. Um, Dianana, if you don't know, it's sort of like a wolf bark sort of thing, so it just revives one on its normal summon. Um, and then we also just played one of the new one. Uh, this one's like much worse than the others, but it has one very specific use. Uh, it's very niche. Uh, you probably don't need to play this card to be honest. But um, this deck isn't like perfect or anything, it was just to sort of teach my girlfriend how to play the game. Uh, so yeah, but we'll talk about what this card does later on. Uh, and then we play three copies of Parallel Exceed. Uh, this card's like a big boon to this deck. Um, the fact that like this card's just like really good in decks that have a rank one anyway. Um, and then because this deck also wants to make rank fours anyway, it fits in quite naturally. Um, you, always, you always do want to see like the, either this or Shade Brigandine to get you to a rank four. Uh, and then I decided to go like a different route with this deck because like a lot of the lists that I see they just play like a load of traps because that's what seems a little bit more natural for this deck but I just decided to play a lot more hand traps instead um, because this deck is like it's strong enough going first anyway because Sarah like sort of snowballs a lot of advantage but you need things that just help you go second so we play three copies of Nibiru, uh, three copies of D Shifter, three copies of Vela um, and then we also play three uh, impermanence. Uh, so, um, Shifter's probably like my favourite one to open with just because it's like a floodgate sort of thing. Uh, you haven't got to worry about um, like your opponent getting into negates before, like, to stop this because you can just throw it out really early. Um, Nibiru is obviously really standard in this sort of format. And then uh, Vela. Um, okay like it's like I think I much prefer this card to something like Ash just because if you draw it in multiples you can use it um, whereas like these don't have that kind of problem because these are like blowout ones uh, in perms the same you can use this to turn you um, you can use this in multiples and you can use it as your sixth card as well um, and it's like this also triggers Sarah because it's a normal trap so it fits in just quite naturally uh, you've just got to be wary with impermanence because we are playing three copies of Shade Brigandine so if you like open this and then you imperm something, uh, just bear in mind that you can't just flip Shade Brigandine on the following. And then we played, <clears throat> and then we played a, an artifact engine. Uh, so I just played one solo, one Lancia, and three Sanctum. Uh, and then to go with the Sanctums, we also played three copies of Trap Trick. Uh, Sanctum is like the only sort of like main target that you want to be trying to get, um, but obviously you can get impermanence if you already have the Sanctum. Um, this card's really cool, it's just like a free trigger for Sarah. Um, if you can play their first turn where you don't need to use this card, it's pretty cool as well because you can just flip this on your own turn to just trigger Sarah again and get another monster out of the deck. Um, yeah, so pretty happy with this. Uh, Lancia and Shift are a bit weird because like they sort of do the complete opposite thing but they actually achieve the same thing at the same time. So with D Shifter, like for instance, um, just using something like Adam Antipater as an example, or like the Dragon Link deck, uh, this will stop them from uh, having a grave in the first place to be able to summon like Block Dragon or uh, the, uh, the Chaos Dragons, and then Lancia stops them from doing it as well, but like in a different way. Um, but like I just wanted a second uh, Sanctum target in case we drew the Scythe. Uh, Shade Brigandine, uh, this is also like a really typical card for track to use. So like, uh, any Trap Tricks monster in this card gets you to Sarah, a rank 4 and a Trap Hole um, straight from the deck. So that's obviously really powerful. This card's also a Trap card which turns Redoer into like um, a Disruption not rather than just uh, sort of like a Wind Rabbit sort of thing. Um, so yeah, this card's really good. You just gotta be careful with, like, like I said, you just gotta be careful with the cards that um, don't work properly if you have a Trap in the Grave. Uh, so for the actual trap hole cards, uh, we play Tretch, two uh, Grave Diggers, and one Floodgate. So uh, Tretch is sort of like the weird one, I suppose. Not all builds play this. Um, I think it's actually just the best trap hole. It's really good going first or second. It means that if you make Rafflesia go in second, uh, it actually offers you almost like a board wipe sort of effect. Um, and then this is the card as well, which actually has like the cool interaction with the new Trap Tricks monster. 
Uh, so what this one says is that you can actually attribute this to set a trap hole from your graveyard and from your deck. So that means that you can get Tretch back out of the deck and then you can flip it again on the following turn. Uh, this interaction doesn't come up a lot and it's why this card is like not amazing, but um, when you can do that it's pretty powerful. Uh, Grave Digger is probably the best like one. Uh, it's the newest one. Uh, stops you getting Nibiru and stuff, so like you always summon Ruffle Asia as your fifth summon. Uh, so then if they were to Nibiru, you can just mill this and it stops the Nibiru, they take 2k. Um, the damage is really relevant as well because this deck doesn't actually have like a lot of big monsters. It doesn't have um, like a really like clear way to get into stuff like Bottle Sword and stuff, so the burn damage does come up. And the Floodgate is just a way to sort of stop a monster from existing, I guess. Uh, it's really good against Block Dragon like you'll see in the door video that we posted. Uh, so, yeah. And then the only spell we played in the deck was one double or nothing. Um, I really sort of, I'm a big advocate for pot of desires in this deck, but like I said, this is my girlfriend's deck. And unfortunately, she's too noob to uh, understand why pot of desires is good yet. So, yeah, so we'll just go straight to the extra deck. Uh, so, for the Trap Tricks monsters, uh, we played uh, two Sarah. Uh, one of the new one and then one of Rafflesia. Um So this one, well, Sarah's the best one obviously. Um, this card's actually insane, it snowballs so much advantage. Uh, the longer she sticks on the board, the, like, the more impossible it becomes for your opponent to be able to sort of come back. Uh, Rafflesia is obviously really good, you can summon each fifth summon. Uh, stops Nibiru, uh, just very good in general. Protects like all your Trap 6 monsters as well from battling, uh, by, be destroyed by battle or card effects. Um, uh, this one's a bit weird, like I rarely use this one. It only comes up in like one really niche um, play where you make this off two parallel exceeds, you revive the uh, Trap Tricks monster that you turned into Sarah Bath, and then those these two can go into like a um, Dagda. So like a pretty niche, but like, yeah. And then for the Link Monsters, uh, we'll play the one Dagda, like I just mentioned. Can just get um, the artifact straight out the deck. Uh, it only ever really comes up in hands where you've got uh, a trap trick, shade bringing in, and parallel exceed, because then you set like the scythe at your deck and then pop it with a tornado dragon. So I guess we can talk about these two together. Uh, so yeah, that's the sort of combo in this deck. Uh, and then for the rest of the link monsters, uh, we just play a really simple nightmare package: Cerberus, Phoenix, Unicorn. And then almost just like a fourth nightmare is security dragon. Um, so these obviously mix really well. You always end up with a bunch of monsters that like don't really do anything on the field. So you do just want to link them off to try and get some value out of them. And security dragon is just a really good way of doing that. Uh, you can summon this and then summon nightmares under it. So you'll pop one and then bounce one. So it helps you clear boards and stuff. Uh, we play one bottle saw dragon on the off chance that it does come up and win you the game. Um, and then for the rest of the sort of like generic rank fours, I guess. Uh, one Dweller, really strong. Um, we'll make it less now because uh, at the minute it just seems like everyone's playing in a beer. So like if you end on this um, with your Sarah, then that's like a pretty ballsy move to do because then you are just opening yourself up to Nibiru, which is why um, I'll always just recommend making Rafflesia. But like this card's too good to not play. Uh, the one time fee free doer. Uh, this is mainly just for when you have the Shade Bring Dean. Um, this card's also alright to make as well because this can actually like, run away from the Biru before it resolves. Um, but yeah, like stuff like this card, for instance, comes up more when you go second because it just lets you sort of like break a board. And then the last two cards are just the Utopia Double Package just to kill them with. Um, not a lot to say about these, it just gives you the, the deck another win condition which it wouldn't usually have. So this was just my take on the Trap Tricks deck, obviously with uh, input from a girlfriend. Um, really feel free to play Desires, uh, I wasn't allowed to, but yeah, so thank you for watching. We really appreciate um, the time that you spent to watch our channel. We're really enjoying it, uh, making the video so far. So um, yeah, feel free, like, comment, subscribe, um, help us grow.